Hello, this is uh, NRG Radio here today, and I'm here with Rahil and Noah. We're going to be going over some predictions today for the upcoming seasons, as the off-seasons have now arrived for two of the biggest sports in America. First, we're going to start off with basketball. Some huge moves this free agency. It's not over yet, but we're going to be breaking down, looking at assets that teams have added and what this can do for the future of their team. So first, of course, we're going to start off with the big powerhouse in the West Coast. There's two, but we're going to start off with the Lakers and LeBron James and AD. How do you think they'll match up with some of the high competition in the West? LeBron James and AD will probably have the best pick-and-roll basketball in the NBA, yes. no doubt about it. And yes. they've added a key and a good three-point shooter in Danny Green, You know, adding DeMarcus Cousins, JaVale mm-hmm. McGee, giving them some depth that depth. the Warriors didn't have this season. Yeah. And I think that'll really help. And I think DeMarcus Cousins will be a little bit more consistent coming yes. off after that injury. So I think the Lakers have a great chance. You know, so they didn't give up that much for the Anthony Davis trade. I was surprised they were still able to keep Kyle Kuzma, who's probably their best rookie on that team. And what, what, no, what do you have to say about I would the Lakers? Say, I also want to say that uh, I'm not sure you guys heard yet, but um, they're saying that LeBron James is reported to play point guard. I did. Yeah. And that changes a lot now because now the lineup is – most likely they're saying is LeBron at point guard, Danny Green at shooting guard, Kuzma at small, and then Powell AD and Boogie. Yeah, that that's a nice. They always seem to AD and Boogie too. That's a nice lineup, man. Yeah, if you look at AD and Boogie too, like those are two all stars. Those are all. Plus they have yes. they went back way back to when they played at Kentucky, New Orleans. Like they have. Connection. They have chemistry together. Yes. Not to mention Rondo was played with them in New Orleans as well. Exactly. Yeah. So off the bench, you already have. A point guard who can really dish it out to those big men. Yeah, yeah, and the West, you know, they match. They, you, they're always. Everyone's always saying how the West is so much, you know, more of a power than the East. But this, the East gained two studs too. As I mean, Kyrie was already there, but you got Kevin Durant, arguably some one of the best players in the NBA, yeah. going there. You know, how do you think that the Nets are gonna match up with some of these powerhouse West Coast teams, like the, let's for example, the Clippers who have. A, a championship carrier. Well, it's going to be difficult because now that we know Kevin Durant, after that injury he had in the finals, it's it's hard it's hard it's hard to say what's going to happen because we know he's going to be out all of 2019 2020 season. So it's how he comes back for that 20 2020 2021 season where we can really decide what's about to happen. Cause yeah. I'm I'm very skeptical. I don't I really don't know if it's going to work because think about Katie's we, it's already Katie's already missing the whole season. And he wants to be the main guy. By the time he gets back, it'll probably be Kyrie's team. So then what happens then? What happens then with the two personalities? Does one person want out? What happens? Exactly. And uh, now moving on to the NFL. Oh, we have. Oh, wait. We have a caller coming in from uh, Czechoslovakia. Hello. It's nice to join you on this show. I actually wanted to talk about your National Football League. Just a call from over there. I'm a fan of, uh, how do you say, New York Jets. I think they make it to divisional round this year of the AFC playoffs. Uh, how do you feel about this? Uh, so moving on to the Jets, as you said, uh, the Jets they added key players. You know they got C.J. Mosley, Le'Veon Bell, some big names as we haven't seen in New York for quite some time. As the Jets have just kind of been, you know, up and down for five years now or so ever since they uh, fell to the Steelers in the AFC Championship game in 2010. Um, you know, these are some guys that we haven't seen in New York for a while. You know, you got Jamal Adams, one of the young stud safeties in our league, premier player. Sam Darnold, rookie quarterback. You know, could have a standout year this year. How do you see the Jets matching up? Because I don't see them going into the AFC championship at this point. I mean, they could be up for a wild card at the most. I mean, maybe they need some time to really get some chemistry. Look, look, look. I don't even see the Jets coming close to a wild card. Mm-hmm. I had the Jets doing horrible for this season. Le'Veon is now in the locker room, and we all know how Le'Veon is in the locker room. He is not someone that you want in the locker room. He's not a player that you want near you. <laughs> uh, I'm going. I'm going to 500 team this year. Yes, but Le'Veon Bell is he still is he still fit? I mean, come on. He's missed. He missed. He sat out the whole season. Was he working out? I don't know what he was doing. Nothing. He missed OTAs <laughs> as well. Yeah. So that's. That's that, and uh, I, I just don't see – I think Sam Darnold's going to need a little more time. I, I don't think it's going to work this season. Maybe in the future, Maybe in the but future. Not, not this the season. The Jets haven't gone for the Not, not this season. I don't think any season, really. But you don't think the Jets are going to at all throughout – Nothing. These – Zero. Zero. So you don't think Sam Darnold's going to – Sam Darnold's a bona fide scrub. Uh, are you okay. serious? Yes. All right. And this said today has been an NRG, NRG radio here. Uh, I've been here today with Rahil and Noah. We're out.